What's one step you can take to protect yourself from a car accident before it even occurs? My name is Josh Hodges. I'm a personal injury attorney at the law firm of Kruger and Hodges in Butler County, Ohio. And uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. How do you protect yourself from a car accident before it even occurs? Well, I mean, obviously you can drive safely, wear your seatbelt, do all those things, make sure your car is in workable manner, but that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is make sure you have good car insurance. Okay, so after a car accident occurs, there's a lot of things you need to do and there's a lot of things an attorney like me or another personal injury attorney can help you with. There's one thing we can't help you with because we don't have a time machine. We can't go back in time and make you have better car insurance after a wreck has occurred. You're stuck. We're stuck with what you had. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't have very good car insurance. In the state of Ohio, you only have to have $25,000 in coverage to legally drive on the road. And 25 grand sounds like a lot of money, but it's not very much money at all if you have $150,000 in medical bills and you can't work for a few months. And beyond that, a lot of people drive around with no car insurance, zero coverage. So the only way you can protect yourself from people who don't have car insurance or don't have very good car insurance is have good car insurance yourself namely uninsured and underinsured motorists. And I, I'm, I'm kind of an evangelist when it comes to telling people to have good car insurance because it just, it just hurts when I see people who are severely injured or even not that severely injured sometimes, but there's not enough coverage to, to get them the compensation they deserve. Yeah, you can always sue whoever crashed into you personally, but you know most people don't have a lot of money just laying around that you'd be able to get. So really, you're usually stuck with whatever the car insurance policy is. A lot of people tell me like, hi Josh, I got full coverage. A lot of people know that word, full coverage. It's kind of a misnomer. I mean, it sounds good, full coverage. And that must mean I'm fully covered. And it's not what it means. It means you're fully covered to a certain policy limit. It could only be $25,000. Most people drive around with $100,000, which again, sounds like a lot of money, but you don't get all that money. You have bills if you're in a severe accident that need to be paid. To protect yourself, you need a high insurance policy uh, limit, and you have to have uninsured and underinsured motorists. And what those do, if someone crashes into you with no insurance and you don't have un uninsured motorists, you're not gonna get anything from them. Or if someone crashes into you and causes $200,000 worth of damage and they only have $25,000 in coverage, all you're gonna get from their insurance is 25,000. What about the other 175? You need uninsured and underinsured motorists with a high policy that would fill that gap. Um, that's one thing, you know, there's a lot of things I can help you with after or another personal injury attorney can help you with after a car accident to help, you know, maximize the recovery but we can't change your policy limit after after the fact. So you have that's the one step you have to take if you want to protect you and your family and your loved ones and your friends, whoever's in your car, from people who don't have uh, car insurance at all or don't have very good car insurance. Just make sure you know what's in your policy, have a high policy limit with uninsured and underinsured motorists. And you know, unfortunately, hopefully you don't ever get in a car accident, but it's just not, I mean, you, you want to have a high limit. It's not a place where you want to save money. Save money somewhere else. It doesn't really cost that much to, to move your policy limit up. So talk to your car insurance provider, um, a ask some questions and make sure you know what's in your, uh, your policies because that's uh, one of the most important things that's going to determine what happens with uh, a personal injury case.